Hey guys, welcome back to another video on this weird and wonderful AI art channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at PhotoMaker. This is one of the newest tools released just last week, which is able to create realistic like human images of faces from reference files. So how does this work? Well, you upload your reference images here, you put your prompt here, you choose a styling, you hit submit, and it's supposed to generate image that represents the same face as your reference image. Some people even say that it's better than the IP adapter, which many of us have used in the past up till now. But first, before we get to this, this is a local installation. Let me just give you a quick overview of how you get started. So you head over to this uh, GitHub page, and this is where the repository has been released. Uh, there's a bunch of samples and there are instructions on how to install and how to test. Uh, for Windows users, they have also created a fork repository of the original one because a lot of people like myself were having problems making this run. So all these links will be in the description of this video, so do not worry. Uh, this is the repository for the Windows version specifically for Windows, which has been branched off uh, the original one. So if we scroll down, the instructions are down here. They're pretty easy to follow. And what you need to have is obviously Python, Git, Visual Studio, and then simply run these commands and be specific because we you need this specific versions of these different components. Uh, so once you've installed that, you can run it up and your command line will start up and it will show you essentially in a debug mode all the different prompts that you run. But once you run that up, you get this Gradio interface and this is where we start using our reference images. So let's do a quick test. I'm gonna upload a few sample images here and I'm going to grab a prompt that I have. So let's grab that here and we'll use the photographic style just to play with it. And I'm just going to quickly show you, but you'd be very familiar with what you're about to see in the advanced options. You have a negative prompt, number of steps, style strength. This is something new because that's the style that it's applying. The number of output images, two to four. In my case, when I try four, I get CUDA out of memory error. So I'm sticking with two for now. Guidance scale is default set at five. The seed is random and the dimensions are 1024 by 1024. So hit submit and we wait a few seconds. On my RTX 4080, it takes about 30 seconds to run a batch, which results in two images. The first batch I found takes a little longer, but after that seems to run much faster and gets done in about 25 to 30 seconds. Here we go. So these are the images from this reference image. Now, as you can see, the face is not exactly the same. I don't know if you can tell, but I have done several tests and I can tell the face on the left is not exactly the face on the right. It is very close, but it's not identical. What I think is happening is essentially the model is taking these reference images and creating its own interpretation of what this face looks like. And then it's regenerating that face when we are creating with our prompt. So this face again looks consistent. That's what I have noticed and I'll show you some sample files that I've put together. The face will be consistent. Once the model has interpreted, you will see consistency in the resulting images. Now in order to generate with this reference, there is one thing you need to keep in mind. The class word that is used for the reference image is image, right? So IMG. This three letter word is what you need to use in your prompt. You can only use it once. I try to use it multiple times, but it does not like it. This trigger word is only allowed to be used once in your prompt. So you can specify a, a, a man, IMG, a girl, IMG, a boy, IMG, a woman, IMG, and whatever else you want to mention. Um, and it will basically use the IMG trigger keyword to reference the face that you have uploaded. And you've got a bunch of styles here that you can try. So if you go cinem cinematic and let's grab something else. Let's use this prompt. This one here in a cinematic style. Click submit. And we wait. 
there we go these are the two resulting images and again um, we'll emphasize that the face is not exactly the same but it is identical to the previous generations the way it generates the face is the same and it's consistent with all those images so if you want to save these images you've got to click that download button by selecting the image first otherwise there's no output directory in this particular configuration um, and this one as well click on download so you can download those now let's have a look at some of those images that i have from before here you go in this little collection on the left i've got the reference face so you guys can see the difference but here you can see that the face is consistently same across the different images that it created it's the same person on that side it's not exactly the same person from the left side but it is resembling that face and features and so forth it's not identical uh, but if you look at the cartoon version the kind of caricature version the cyberpunk version a um, bit more gothic and dark and simple black and white portrait you can see the face is same as what it was in all those images on the right hand side so it is consistent in its generation however it doesn't exactly resemble the original all right guys that's it for this video just wanted to quickly show you how you can run up photo maker on your own computer and show you some of the samples that i have been able to generate and uh, my findings in terms of uh, how well it's recreating the face that's provided as a reference image be sure to subscribe like and comment on this video i'll see you in the next one bye bye